But Dexter Dennis, 10 points. Great defensive away. job as usual. Five rebounds. He was four of eight from the field, two of five from three. Also had three assists for the Shockers. Uh, let's start out talking about defense, which is uh, you get the, the number one assignment in every game. We were just talking. There would have been games, I think, where the way Dana Tate was shooting it, maybe you would have gotten shifted onto him. But was Joe Bryant sort of the key to their offense and, and the way you were containing him? Is that why you, you probably stayed on him? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, they they have a lot of good, experienced, older guys, um, really good guard-oriented team. Uh, Four-man really stepped up tonight. Uh, normally, he really doesn't even play a lot. But, um, yeah, they have some ballers, man. But normally, every game, it's – it's somebody, so uh, what I have to do is just accept the challenge. Uh, my teammates accept the challenge as well because obviously it's not just me. Uh, it's a group of guys, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The strategy changed in the second half. Instead of being content to take that outside shot, you were finding somebody open in the middle, oftentimes Ricky Council, but you only took nine as a team, three-point shots in the second half and connected on five of them. Yeah, just being smart, being more aware, being a uh, smart basketball club, which, you know, uh, we're trying to clean up our offense. You know, it's still a work in progress. But uh, when we put it all together, man, we're still working. Um, I think the sky's the limit for us. But until then, we're going to continue to be held down by our defense and just our toughness. So uh, we're, we're still working, man. That's the biggest thing for us right now. You know, this was a tough week, I know. Probably uh, the toughest of the season. You guys had only lost once. You've been playing well. Even some games that weren't great all the way, you had your moments. And how how important, how much did you feel it was part of your role as one of the most veteran guys on the team this week to kind of help everybody keep things in perspective and, and move forward without any finger pointing and that sort of thing? Um, it, it's extremely hard, man. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Like, it was just uh, the easiest thing we've done all year. But um, that loss kind of, you know, it kind of smacked us in the face a little bit. It, I, can, I ain't going to say it humbled us, but uh, it just showed us, you know, we can still be beaten. We still got some things to work on. So um, this week, we really just the biggest thing for us, I think, was was positivity moving forward. Uh, the first night, obviously, that loss did sting, uh, but we still have a whole season to to play. Still got to prepare for other games. So um, being one of those guys, man, I think I give credit to you know Mo, Tyson, um, the rest of the older guys, the whole team. You know, uh, just spreading the positive message and realizing, you know, this is not. This thing's going to break us. Also, uh, give credit to the coaching staff, well, it's, too. Well, it starts psychologically also. Yeah, you have to have confidence in one another and be positive with one another. And obviously, with this group, that seems to be what you've been doing. Yeah, man. It's it's uh, it's hard. It's very challenging at times. Uh, most of the time, you have to put your own emotions to the side. Regardless of how you're feeling, uh, you just have to try to do what's best for the team. And some days, you know, you might not feel it. You might have just played a bad game. But when you still come to practice, you still come to the game, you have to uh, just lead by example sometimes. That's more my thing. Tyson is more of both. Mo, you know, the guys lead. They talk a lot more than me, uh, which is something I'm still working on. But uh, it's definitely challenging, man. It's definitely and, hard. And this team seems to be very much together. I mean, I've seen the way the bench reacts at timeout sometimes when somebody's made a good play. And regardless of who's on the floor, it seems like that's always there. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're extremely close. Uh, we laugh, joke all the time, but uh, when it's time to get serious, I think we're good at, I ain't going to say flipping the switch, but knowing what's in front of us, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's not always easy to do. But I think as far as off the court, on the court, I think we're extremely together. We thought this would be a reflection of the team's character as well. Despite playing poorly against uh, Kansas State just last Sunday, yep. to come out and play well and play together. Yeah, extremely. Like I said, those these last few days haven't been easy. Um, it's hard to, you know, as basketball players, we always want to, go back and change things you know you always want to go back and wish you could have done this but um in this game it moves fast you know in a couple of days you play again so are you going to hang your head still over that game you're going to move forward and speaking of that i know that this is something you've experienced now and have learned over your time here uh, this is a real key time finals are done you have some time now to just concentrate on basketball and this is a a time for any team to try to get a lot better a hundred percent um it kind of frees up your schedule a lot more um, so it's more time in the gym, more time with your team. And obviously, uh, we can use all the time we can get. We're going to use all the time we have, but this right here is, is like, uh, this is like one of the best part of time for me. Cause like, I just don't have to worry about school, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, but don't mind. Good, I do my work, but anyway. yeah, yeah I, like, I do my work, but I'm just saying like, you know, it's better sure, to not worry about it. Sure. You know Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks right. for your time, Dex. Great game tonight. And we'll look forward to much more.
Thank you, guys. All right. Dexter Dennis joining us as our star of the game, presented by the Kansas Star Casino.